Hi guys, Abs here. Welcome back. I'm going to be taking you through a demonstration of the email verification now. And the reason I'm actually taking you through a demonstration of this, guys, is because a number of changes have been made um, in respect to new accounts being added and the verification process being slightly different for a handful of accounts. Um, so as before, guys, as you was aware, we had a best practice guide, which was all, which has always been with you. Um, I've actually updated this best practice guide, and I'm going to on. I am hoping uh, to actually give you the download link for this as well. Um, so what we're actually referring to in this best practice, guys, the only difference in the details that I've changed is the email verification section. Obviously nothing there. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. I've got a very bad throat. Um, the changes are <coughs> to the amount of sites that need manual verification. So it looks a little daunting. Uh, don't be put off by this, guys. It's something that anyone's going to have to do regardless. Um, and the software does have its limits, of course, um, with email verification. And things like, you know, getting your WordPress blog URL, um, we can code that into the software, but it requires so much coding, guys, that it's so much easier to get this done yourself. And I'm going to be showing you the exact easiest ways of getting this done. So I'm going to go to WordPress. So, sorry, I'm going to... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... I'm inside of my email account now, guys, um, and I'm going to click on WordPress. Sorry, I'm going to search for WordPress, and I'm going to click on search. So as we can see here, guys, we've got emails from WordPress. I'm going to click on that one there, and from the actual title is where we're going to get our WordPress URL, guys. So I'm going to copy this title here. Not the title, but our actual um, URL to our WordPress blog. And what I'm doing, I'm put the script on pause and open up the social linking script, which is going to be the next script that we're going to be working with. Okay, so I'm just waiting for the social linker to open up, guys, and as you can see, the user interface has changed totally. You only have the one script now, which I need to rename because it's still called Pixel Pipe Linking, um, but this actual this script actually links Pixel Pipe, Hello Text, Ping FM, and Only Wire, and you can enter your details in there just the once, instead of actually going to have to do every single one of them as it was before, and at the same time, guys, um, instead of you having to do one script at a time or one linking at a time, you can actually check every single one of these and get the script to go and link them all for you. So what we're looking for guys is the WordPress address that we just copied. We want to paste it inside of here guys just to confirm that there are no spaces or anything in there. Fantastic. Back over to the user guide guys, identity.ca, you will requ it will be required to do um, manual email verification. So let's go back on here guys and this time type in identity. Dot .ca Okay, it looks like identity.ca didn't actually get created, guys. So that was one account that didn't get created on this one. Of course, I didn't actually keep track of that, unfortunately. Uh, we can also have a look for the other ones as well. Multiply. Here we go. Multiply requires manual email verification as well, guys. I'm going to click on that. Of course, I've got some advanced pop-up blockers inside of this software, so it's not going to work. So what we need to do is highlight it, right-click, copy, navigate over to the URL, Let's see what it says here against multiply. You will be required to manually verify the account in the same way as identity.ca. Identity.ca, you will be required to manually verify the email and then log into identity.ca account. That is, that's it, just manual verification. Okay, so we need to sign into multiply now, guys. So there's my username, copy and paste in there, and my password. And I'm going to click on sign in. Okay, it's saying that some sort of message there, saying that they're proud to announce some something in there. I'm going to click on the return to multiply link. You might not get the same one on there. And as you can see, our account has been verified. So that's fantastic. And I'm going to navigate back over to AOL.com. Okay, and now we need to go to JQ. Oops, so let's go to mail first. Click on JQ. Sorry, we will search for JQ. JQ here, guys. And what does it say underneath JQ? This also requires manual email verification in the same way as identity.ca. So what we need to do is copy and paste it inside of here again. And then we also need to sign in on this one as well. So the screen name is going to be our username. Our password is going to be whatever we chose for our password, which is done. And oh, not sure what happened there, guys. Uh, it looks like it's taken us back to AOL. Let's go back over oops okay let's go back over to jq let's have a look if jq has actually sent us a message saying that okay they haven't sent us a message have they okay i'm sure i actually pasted no i didn't okay there are other ways of getting this done guys obviously you can do this from your own browser you're not you don't have to 
stay inside of this software and do it sign into jku i think it was the play that i hit guys that didn't actually sorry i think it was a enter button that i that i clicked which took us back to aol before okay after jku guys we need linkedin so let's have a look linkedin okay linkedin has been found as well fantastic what does it say near linkedin requires manual email verification so we'll copy that and we'll paste it into our br into our browser in here okay redirecting now let's just quickly sign in okay just waiting to sign into LinkedIn and as you can see it says confirm the email address and I'm gonna click on confirm fantastic our email address has been confirmed let's forget about everything else and let's navigate back over to AOL.com we don't want to mess around guys we want to get the script started ASAP now we need to go to my yearbook requires manual verific verification you should cut and copy the security code and enter it into the site so let's take a look to see what that is my yearbook okay my yearbook activation code okay so here's the security code there guys so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this in a different way I'm gonna can I open a new window let's have a look I don't think the software can allow me to do that because of the um, the actual things that I have in there as in in um, respect to pop-up blockers so instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the myyearbook.com forward slash activate and it's asking us to submit that code in now so we're gonna actually copy this code here it's got an equal sign at the end as well. I'm going to copy that in there as well. See if that works, guys. I think it should do. Um, but we'll just verify now. So this is my yearbook. Please help us verify your account. So it's actually asking us um, to verify the account. So it's telling us to do it in two ways. We can either connect with Facebook or enter a capture. So we're going to go ahead and enter the capture. Now, these are something, guys, that I'm afraid that we are going to have to do manually. But it is going to definitely help us. So as you can see, that's been verified. Fantastic. Exactly what we we're after. And finally, uh, right, we've got Blip FM still. Okay, Blip dot FM. Fantastic. Okay, let's take a look at this here. What does anybody it has default password, which you will need to enter in the social linking script. So basically, on Blip FM, we're not looking for manual verification, guys. We're looking for this here. Your password is. We're going to copy that. We're going to copy that there we're going to go to the social linker and we've got a section in here saying blip.fm password and we're going to paste that into there guys and now then we're going to go back over the last final one is live journal manual verification and then login so we need to go to live journal now i don't think we actually got a live journal account created i can't recall it now because i did actually use the capture script at the end of it oh yes we did fantastic okay so live journal requires manual verification please click on the following link to complete your validation so instead of clicking it we're going to copy it and paste it in oops what have I done click on back again and that's just done my head in okay live journal fantastic stuff I bet you guys really hate me saying the word fantastic because I do know that I use it quite a lot um, and I apologize let's have a look live journal confirm live journal thank you for your email address did it didn't it has now been verified brilliant stuff and now guys what we need to do is go to aol.com okay what you would have noticed guys is that the very first thing when I did actually start this video was that you noticed that everything was in the inbox the reason behind that guys is because I went to the spam folder I checked everything that was in the spam folder and clicked on not on spam to send it over to the inbox and now what we can do we can actually verify the email so I'm gonna click on verify emails click on play that's gonna pull up our pop 3 script for us oops no guys I've done something totally wrong what we need to do okay is get rid of all these checkboxes here we don't want these checkboxes we just want the verify email checkbox click on play guys it should actually verify the email for us okay there we go right then guys so for our AOL username we want to take our sorry for the pop you pop server username we want to take our AOL email address in there and for the pop password we want to be entering our password okay and you have threads that you can choose from guys all the way up to 64 um, there's not too many emails in here guys as you can see you get about 70 odd emails only um, so having the thread count to a low number is fine not a problem and down here you have a stat monitor telling you that we are actually downloading emails and then the total number of emails that we've actually downloaded and the position that we're on and then it's going to go ahead and visit them emails and click every single link on there as well 
So give it a few moments guys to download the emails, fantastic, and altogether there's 218 links inside of them emails. Again guys, this POP3 script can be used to verify any email that you like, um, as long as it is supported by the POP3 server, um, then it will actually verify whatever you want. Okay, not too long left. Okay, we're nearly there guys, we're on 54, 50 emails left to verify. And one last thing that I need to make you aware of guys is if you actually go and visit AOL and have a look at your AOL inbox, you will notice that the emails still look as if they haven't been read. And the whole reason behind that is because the, because the script doesn't open up the emails on the AOL server, it actually downloads them first. Um, secondly guys, it does work different in other email account providers as well. You can put in your own email account um, in there as well, should you wish to use your own email account. So say for example you are setting up scripts or setting up accounts for your clients, then what you can do, you can actually ask them and say, um, excuse me so and so, if you want me to get this service done for you, it's going to be much better and much more friendly for your own account and for your own business and for business awareness or for brand awareness as well for you to actually have your own email address in there. So if you can provide me a POP3 access and an email account with a password, I can get everything done for you. And obviously you can actually verify all the emails through here as well, which is fantastic. So that's been done, guys. Now it's time to head over to the POP3 script. Um, and obviously what we're going to do with the POP3 script now, guys, is enter our details exactly as we see them in here. So the username is going to be the username, the password is going to be the password that we had, um, what we use from the account sign up. The email, guys, is going to be the at aol.com because we use that email address to sign up to all the accounts, um, other than the Yahoo ones, which the software will automatically figure out for us. Um, however, if you did use another account, let's say hotmail.com to sign up to the accounts, then you'd have that at hotmail.com in there as well. I'm going to click on sign up, I'm going to click on to link to Pixelpipe, I want to link only wire, I want to link ping FM, and I want to link hello text however what I mustn't forget guys is the settings area at the top because we need to tell the software what accounts to link to it's fine enough saying that yes we want to link all these but what do we want to link so now that's where we go up to the settings tab I'm not going to link any gmails okay so I'm not going to click on that whatsoever I'm not going to enter no details in there now pixel pipe sites to link I'm going to click on link all pixel pipe I'm not going to click on link all gmail because I don't have a gmail account to link on there and I'm going to click on ok I'm going to go to settings again I'm going to go to ping fm sites to link I'm going to click on link all ping fm accounts I'm not going to link the gmail account because I don't have any gmail accounts to link and I'm going to click on ok and then I'm going to go over to hello text um, account selection and I'm going to click on select all and we don't have any gmails in here because I haven't opted in to actually place the gmails in here however that is something that we can get done should you find any gmail accounts that you'd like to link on there Okay, and that's it guys. Only why it doesn't need any settings because it is a default setting on there and the software goes away and gets everything done for you with only wire as well. Just to ensure you have everything checked and click on play and the software will actually go away and do absolutely everything for you now. There is nothing for you to worry about and the software will start off with ping FM and get everything done for us that way. Again, all the emails have been verified and everything will get done that way guys. So other than that guys, this is exactly how it works. All you need to do is wait until that goes over to stop again and everything will be sorted. Thank you very much guys and hope to see you soon.